All right, what's up guys, I'm the Harbinger. Uh, this video is meant to try to help out on them uh, steamunlocked.net game errors when you download the game and it's not working. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up real quick. A uh, couple of things I looked into. Could be your computer's antivirus software not working. Not letting the game work, excuse me. It could be that uh, you've hit the wrong file to extract uh, and, and you're clicking the wrong file to start the game. See, the, the most prime example is I actually have a, uh, a video that I did this morning on this, but uh, I feel like I can better explain it in, in less time. I'm actually going to show that clip in this video after I get through showing you this. So the best example is on this Witcher. That's really the best way to explain it. You're going to need to know a little bit about computers. So in, in here it says uh, to right click and run launcher.exe as administrator. That's how you're going to unpack the files. So, you know, I mean, you're going to click your Witcher and then you're going to go to Launcher and you're going to hit extract and it's going to extract them. So once you do that, you're going to want to look for the Witcher.exe, not the Launcher.exe. Because see, if you hit this, well, shit, let me go to my, the one that is unzipped. There we go. So you, you try to see, I had the shortcut, I messed up, and it wouldn't run. I'm like, damn, this game don't work, so I'm just going to cut that out. Delete. So whenever you click it, you have your little circle trying to start it up, and it's not going to start up. So you can be like, damn, I downloaded this game. It says to, uh, to click the launcher, and it's not working. I guess this game's not working. Well, if you're running into that issue, just look for the, uh, the Witcher.exe. Let's see, we got register.exe, uninstall.exe. Oh, I wonder if he's going to be in the launcher folders. No, it's not there. Is it going to be in, in this? No, it's not there. You just got to keep looking. Is it in bonus content? No, probably not in that. Is it, in, is it over here? Oh, shit, we got a bunch of .exe's. These you ain't got to worry about. We got user content manager.exe. Oh, the Witcher. And this is the actual .exe. So I'm going to click it and see if it starts. And then boom, we got a game going. See what I'm talking about? So you just can't jump to conclusions that the game won't work. Because I thought this game was broken for the longest time. And actually a subscriber had hit me up and was like, yo, dude, I'm having some issues with Left 4 Dead. Which I couldn't even download. I tried to download it, Left 4 Dead and use that as an example video. But I, it, I can't even download it. It says failed to download every time. So, bro, on your part, I don't know what to tell you. It's probably not going to work. But, I mean, I hope this kind of helps. Just look for the actual .exe. Uh, a lot of it could be um, your antivirus popping up, which I want to include that clip right after I get through blabbering where I, it dawned on me and I fixed it. So, but a lot of these games work, though. You know, New Colossus, you know, the Wolfenstein, Subnautica, uh, the Fallouts, uh, Jurassic World, Dead Space series, House Flipper, Solus, The Outer Worlds. So you just can't stop at one game and be like, damn, one game didn't work. This must be a scam. I mean, I, just, I did that video just to help you guys out. That's it. So if a couple of games don't work for you, I'm sorry. Uh, I know Doom doesn't work for me. The Call of Duties doesn't work for me. Tomb Raider doesn't work for me. There's just a shitload of games that I just can't get to download. Uh, I know the Tank Simulator game right here. It took me three times trying to download this game, and it finally downloaded onto my computer. And then uh, it was pretty easy to uh, to get it to work. Just go to the dot, uh, tank simulator .exe. So you want to find the folder that says the name of the game .exe, like Fallout 4 .exe, or The Runner .exe, or Metro Exodus .exe, or Mass Effect .exe. You want to find those. You don't want to find Launcher and all that all that shit. So I hope this helps. I'm going to include this little clip right over here and show you where I fixed it. I was pretty stoked. Uh, my voice is gone, so forgive me. But I'm going to keep it short and sweet and play this clip. Go ahead, Hobbins. you play that clip. Play it. Did I fucking find it? I think I found it. Son of a bitch. See what I'm talking about, guys? You can't always... It's going to take a little bit of computer knowledge. Sweet. See this shit right here? Check it out. God, 
Thank you for actually showing up on the fucking video, man. Okay, see how it says, Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app. It's not letting this game play. Boom. How do you, how do you get past that, huh? That's the big question. How do you get past it? Allow access. I mean, that's going to be 99% of your problem is your damn computer. All right, anyway, guys. Uh, I figured I'd make the outro while I'm killing two birds with one stone. Uh, I got my video editor up trying to edit this and get this out for them guys that uh, hit me up this morning. I hope this helps you out a little bit. And just remember, it could be your antivirus software. It could be, you know, you're not choosing the right folder. Just tinker with it a little bit. If it doesn't work, man, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's a free game, dude. You know, beggars can't be choosers when it comes to free games. I mean, you can always go to Steam and shell out 20, 30 bucks for a game uh, if you really want to play it. Uh, I was actually encouraged to do that because uh, I don't know if this is Ill <laughs> illegal or not. Uh, I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. I have no fucking games from this website, so that's all I know. But I appreciate you watching this video. I hope this helps. If it doesn't, like I said a million times, I'm sorry, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out of here. <laughs>